Parking at Orchard STEM School can be described as horrible. <laughs> it's like a whole commotion. And then teachers don't have a parking space. It's becoming a problem just to come to work. Preschool teacher Ann O'Reedy says she tries to park on the street, but even that became an issue. My car was vandalized, was hit skip. I had a lot of damage done to the back of it. And she isn't the only staff member. My partner teacher parked there and her car was hit there and the mirror knocked off. So instead of complaining about the parking situation for another year, teachers decided to do something about it by getting the students involved and making this problem a project-based learning project. We surveyed a lot of the staff here and we found out that not everybody has been getting a parking space. And there are 55 staff members that come on a daily basis. So if 55 staff members come every day and no visitors park, there are 10 spaces that are needed for staff that we don't have spaces for. All right, hold on, we're going outside. Listen carefully. These are called trundle wheels. They are used to measure spaces. Our goal today is now to measure whatever area of the space outside that you need to measure. By doing this project-based learning assignment, students in fifth and eighth grades got out of the classroom to learn math. We were trying to find um, a big space to um, put parking spaces. The students are also coming up with solutions on how to add at least 10 more parking spaces on the property while preserving the garden. There's this place kind of like behind the school that it's like a perfect spot to make more, more parking spaces because it's only a garden there. But the problem is that um, we need to find out where to put the garden. So we measure where to put the garden after if we were going to make a parking lot. I'm kind of learning um, how to use different measurements. It's a really fun way. The learning you do within the context of the four walls of a classroom is only as good as its application outside of the classroom. So having them learn, construct their own knowledge from an authentic experience is way more valuable than them pulling out a workbook and saying, let's find area. The students are also getting a lesson in civics. I feel like we can make a change somehow. It doesn't really have to be big change, but a change so that um, teachers can park and not park in the street. I think that knowing that their plan could be implemented motivates them to be engaged in the learning. Recently, they presented their findings to CMSD CEO Eric Gordon and Cleveland City Councilman Kerry McCormick. I want you guys all to understand too that this was a really great uh, experiment urban planning. So many of you as you move forward, as you go to school, as you enter the workforce, you can do this for a living. And take a look at what would this cost, when could we do it, talk with Councilman McCormick about the permitting of it, and then we will come back to you and we will do our demonstration of learning to tell you how we're going to move forward with your ideas. Well, this project is far from over. In December, the students will meet with the district's architectural and facilities departments to continue to come up with a plan to get more parking spaces here at Orchard. Reporting for the CMSD News Bureau, I'm Darielle Snipes.